Good evening. Yeah. Last yeah. night, Jan Michaels was a hero to 178,000 followers. Now, some 18 hours on, we have found out that this is not now, the case. Hours on, Tonight is the first is step in the, the healing case. process for all them people. In fact, we will now continue on, and apart from my words, you will not hear the words Jan Michaels ever again in an NSW broadcast. Tonight, the NSW superstars will do what they do best, and that is to entertain you. This show is dedicated to all them people that have been affected by Mr. Michaels. Thank you. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, we are 24 hours removed from the Elimination Chamber and we are here for Monday Night Raw, it is Dave Easton along with the NXT Champion Matt Rhodes, good evening Matt. Hello Dave, what a great night to be here. Indeed, and we are 24 hours removed from Daniel Bryan becoming the new World Heavyweight Champion and we're going to hear from Daniel Bryan straight away Matt, what do you think about that main event last night? It was an amazing shocker to see Daniel Bryan come up here as his debut match and win the heavyweight title. Impressive. And indeed, we're going to hear from Daniel Bryan right now. A few short words. Unbelievable that Daniel Bryan was signed for the role brand from John Laurinaitis. We haven't even seen Laurinaitis since he got run over by the car um, back at the last pay-per-view. And now Daniel Bryan standing in an NSW ring. And you have to say, Matt, Shock, shocker, that was it. what it was. It was a complete shocker. Yeah, amazing surprise to see Daniel Bryan show up and, and to actually come out the winner in the, in the process. Like I said, it's just an amazing win. Indeed, and tonight, Matt, we're going to find out the new number one contender in a triple threat match, Jericho, RVD and Ryback. But first off, we're going to start with a tag team match. It is the Mexican Corporation taking on the team of the chick magnets of Tyler Breeze and um, Sean Bessick who had a big win on the um, Sunday Night Heat last night. Yeah, it was a very big win for them. It's definitely going to catapult them to getting their shot at a tag team championship match. And here's a shot, Matt. Why are the Mexican Corporation still with the tag belts, the NXT tag belts? They had to, they, well, surely they should have yeah. given them back. Yeah, they're supposed to give them back. Um, we might have a little problem here. We might have to have them come back and defend them, maybe. Well, we will find out. We, we, are, we are supposed to find out new NXT Tag Team Champions this Saturday night um, on NXT. Back to tonight, though, man. They, these two, big win, as you said, on Sunday. A win here tonight, and maybe they're looking at a shot at the NSW Tag Team titles. Yeah, we definitely have to put them into a number one contenders match if they take the win here. Well, After their impressive win over Corey Graves and uh, Trey Donovan last night. Indeed, this is your opening contest of Raw tonight. The Mexican Corporation is debut on Raw after their win on Superstars last week. Uh, they defeated the Usos to get the main roster spot challenge. You can see Alfonso at ringside as it is um, Hunico starting the match and Chavocado on the apron. So, as I say, Matt, you've seen the Mexican Corporation a number of times in NXT. What do you th uh, how do you think they'll do here on Raw? I think they'll fare pretty good. They're a couple of good high flyers. They, they definitely got a mean streak in them. That they'll definitely be able to survive here on Raw, I think. And a very tough opening match for them tonight as the Chick Magnets, as I say, a big victory last night. They're looking for the tag belts. They want a shot at Kings of Wrestling. Surely, as I say, if they win here tonight, surely we may see a tag team match, title match, uh, well, in the next couple of weeks, hopefully. Most, uh, like I said, most definitely. That if they could take the win here tonight, it would definitely put them in line to be a number one contender for the tag team titles. Indeed, and Kings of Wrestling, who defended the tag belts in a cage match last night at the Elimination Chamber, 
against Money Club. Remember, if you would like to see the Elimination Chamber, you still can. You can do it two ways. It's in the past broadcasts of our Twitch TV channel, or you can go to our YouTube page and see the full event there. All you need to do on YouTube is, is search Nonstop Wrestling UK. Make sure you give us a subscribe while you're there as well. And so much going on tonight. Matt, we're going to see Big Boss Man in action a little bit later on. He's going to defend the hardcore title against Biggie Langston. Yeah, that'll be a very interesting match. Two big brawlers going at it in a hardcore match. Definitely can see that one going all over the place. Indeed. And there's word coming out, Matt. This is massive news coming out of the back that the Wyatt family, Screwface and Fallen, are taking on Christian and uh, Curtis Barnett tonight. And the rumour is going round. Bray Wyatt has laid the challenge down to Christian. If Christian's team win tonight, Screwface and Fallen are gone from Raw tonight. And if... Bray White's team yeah, win. I, I could see this one coming. <laughs> yeah, if, if Bray White's team win, it's a US title shot for Bray Wyatt next week on Raw. Uh, there's been a lot of trouble brewing between the Wyatt family. Uh, Screwface and Fallen have been taking a lot of losses recently, and after the big loss last night to Christian losing the title and Bray Wyatt not being able to win the heavyweight title, he's definitely going to be upset about it. But to, to, but to say that Streetface and Fallen cannot wrestle on Raw ever again if they lose, surely a lot hides on it. Raw continues, ladies and gentlemen. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this. And remember, non-stop wrestling superstars will be here on Wednesday, 12 o'clock in the UK, 7 in the East, 4 in the West. Uh, Mondo and a, a new person will be joining him. Make sure you join us for superstars. As we are back here on Raw, it is Dave Easton along with NXT champion Matt Rhodes with you calling the action here tonight from a sold out arena and you've got to see Matt the buzz from the NSW universe from last night's elimination chamber especially after da Daniel Bryan's win you've got to see it's been the talk of Twitter all day yeah it's been a definitely big surprise to see Daniel Bryan show up and like I said for him to come in in his debut match and win the title is very impressive indeed we're going to as you see we're going to find out who's the new number one contender is for the World Heavyweight Championship tonight. For, the, for these four competitors here, Tyler Breeze, on the other hand, we've seen has been an absolute res revelation Sorry, since he's teamed up with Sean Betherick. Yeah, these two just tend to want to show off and they got all the rights to brag about it. What? What's he doing? Uh, come on, we need, you know, do these never know that we need these monitors? Unbelievable. As Tyler Bree, as Hunico looks to have had a little bit of an injury that he's had, it looks like he's been feeling the effects of this match. Maybe though he can try and finish Tyler Breeze off quick, quickly and hopefully not come out with too um, injured as Travel Cot is desperate to get, looks like desperate to get into this match on the other side, Matt. Hey, he's looking to get in there and start taking control of this matchup. But look at this chick, man, it's continued to work over. Sean Betherick. Nice elbow drop. As I say, a move used by a number of people. The referee trying to get Tyler Breeze out of there. End of the cover. Can this be enough to put Hunico away? It is. Oh, I can see. Chauvel Carter fell off the announce. I don't know if you've seen that, Matt. Chauvel Carter fell off the apron. Did you, did you no, see that? No, I didn't even see him over there. It, it, I, I see him on him. It looked like he slipped when he went back over. And, well... I hope he's alright, he's on the floor there, I don't know if you can see him, he, he sort of slipped. And it looks like he's in a lot of trouble. Well, a big win, so, a big win for the chick match with Travel Carter, I think out of your screen there, slipped off the apron and sort of has looked like he's injured, I don't know if he hit his head or he injured his leg. Um, we are seeing EMTs here coming down there, as you can see, Travel Carter getting taken away. It looked a very bad hole. I don't, I don't know what sort of happened. I don't know if there was some water on the apron or something or whatever happened, but he has fell off, and it does look like he is seriously injured. Yeah, it looks like he's holding the, his eye. Maybe he mashed the eye socket. Well, dear me. Coming up next, it is our newcomer, Trey Donovan. He's going to take on Jay Masters. That is coming up next on Raw. Very, very interesting to see how this newcomer will do in here in NXT. Or Trey, NSW. Yeah, as Trey Donovan came in to Sunday Night Heat, was on the losing end with Corey Graves last night. He gets his single action debut here against Jay Masters of the Money Club. A lot has been riding high on this guy since he came in. 
saving uh, Corey Graves the last couple of weeks. Now we get to see, see how he does with a singles competition here tonight. Nice to see Corey Graves with him again there, Matt. Yeah, they, they definitely formed quite a friendship here, and hopefully they can turn it into a good tag team. And, and here is his opponent. It is Jay Masters, one half of the Money Club. He's going to be with Alicia Fox, the gorgeous Alicia Fox. Absent last night as she was banned from ringside for the Steel Cage match. But she is here tonight and she is going to be in the corner of Jay Masters. who's looking maybe to build himself a singles career, Matt, after the defeat in the tag team title match last night. Yeah, I think the Money Club might be on their way out. I think they may be trying to go for singles titles now after having their shots multiple times to try and beat the Kings of Wrestling and just not being able to get it done. Indeed. And this indeed, ladies and gentlemen, if you're if watching us in the, on the NSW app, this is a, a poll for you. If you think Trey's going to win, press 1. If you think Jay's going to win, press 2. We'll give you the result of that poll at the end of the match. As Trey Donovan, I, despite the loss last night, Matt, you have to say Trey was very impressive in the bit he was in the match. Yeah, pretty dominant. He was a very strong competitor. I think we're going to see good things from this wrestler. Hey, Trey, but as I see, Jay Masters, backstage, I, we're able to, from what I've seen of Jay Masters, he's not been in a very good mood all day. Looked very determined, though. Yeah, they, they were kind of that they didn't win their title last night they really wanted to get those tag team titles back but today's a new day and hopefully he can get a win here and it'll help him on his way to maybe getting a chance at the u.s title and, he, and trey donovan though looking very impressive early on a nice by busting a nice takeover there trying to keep jay masters down but as i say both these um competitors you would have to say in the high flying um category matt yeah, I would say both of them have some good high-flying moves, but they also can get down and brawl with each other, so it could definitely go back and forth for, for quite a while until someone gets a clear advantage. Well, continue on. Trey Donovan thrown into the corner as Jim Moss is now trying to get some sort of takeover in this match. Nice sort of kick clothesline combination that. And as Jim Moss is well known for using co uh, combinations to put his opponents away. Yeah, he's definitely working over the back, but Trey's turning it around. He's starting to come back now. Well, and here we go. Uh, Trey on the outside. I hope they're not... Oh, he's going to come near us again, Matt. Time to, we've just got this prepared. Come on, Trey. Again, the handyman looks like he's going to be getting a bit of a bonus tonight as Jim Moss Yeah, they're going to have to start paying us to put this table together. <laughs> Indeed. Trey, where's Trey now going? Uh-oh, this can't be good. He's flying through your big elbow through. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Nelly, are you all right, Matt? Yeah, I don't know where the app went. Uh, we lost the computer down here. <laughs> we'll continue. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Conclusion of this great singles match. Remember to join us for Nonstop Wrestling Smackdown. It comes your way Thursdays, 11 o'clock in the UK, 6 in the East, 3 in the West. It's Dave Easton. Joe Disney will be bringing you the action from Smackdown on Thursday nights. And we're back. Singles competition here on Raw. Dave Easton along with the NXT champion Matt Rhodes. And we have got Jay Masters, Trey Donovan in singles action. And during the break, Matt, it was sort of Trey who's taken the, the advantage here. Yeah, after that uh, flip through the or the elbow through the table that he did, he's been all money now. He's been taking control of this match ever since then. Indeed, into the cover. Hooks like gets a one on Masters. Really needs to do a little bit more to put Jay Masters away here. Maybe if Trey can just pick up this victory tonight and really cut it, well, catapult him forward in the singles competition but as I say you cannot count out Jay Masters yet look like oh nice splash there so, looking like sort of a Santon bomb that could be enough can there be enough to put Donovan the newcomer away into the cover hooks the leg no just a one and you've got to say Matt both competitors giving it their all here this evening hey they're both looking to get that victory tonight hell we might even see these two t tag up with their tag team partners and have a good uh, tag team match together Indeed, and look at this, a chance, the kicks to the back of the leg, is that enough to put Trey away? No, just a one again, as c continuing on here, Trey Donovan still hanging in there somehow, Jay Moss has looked for a drop kick, sort of, completely missed, still in control though, somehow got away with it, and I think this could be, yeah, indeed, the knee to the face, that could be enough, 
that be usually yeah, I think he was expecting him to come out of that turnbuckle. Oh, but. the kick to the face. Sorry for interrupting you, Matt. That surely is enough. It was a massive kick to the side of the face. Masters into the cover. Hooks the, doesn't hook the leg. Gets the three. And, well, Jim Masters picks up the big win here tonight. Yeah, definitely a good win for him to get over this, this new up-and-coming superstar. Indeed, and maybe we are looking at a future singles title for Jay Masters down the road. A big victory tonight, but you have to say, both men put on a very good show. Most definitely. They're both good workers in the ring there. Well, we're definitely going to see a lot from both of them. And indeed, you will see um, Trey in the corner of Corey Graves this Wednesday night as Corey Graves takes on Daniel Cage on Superstars. Make sure you can join us on Wednesday for that one. But tonight, it's all about Jay Masters. Congratulations to him. He picks up the big win. As we now move on, and, well, this girl, Matt, we were talked about last night. These two are having a sort of a problem, and it's all due to one man, a certain Joe Disney. Hey, it's the commentator on SmackDown. He needs to stick to commentating and try and leave these divas alone so they can do what they need to do in the ring. And I, I would be very, very interested to see what these two are talking about. Rumours going backstage that they're, they're having problems in their relationship. This all due to this rumour that Megan and Joe Disney sort of got it on in Vegas. I don't know. It seems it could be a problem. Well, we will find that in later weeks. Let's now move on. It's the Hardcore Championship that is on the line. It is the defending champion, Big Boss Man. He's going to take on Biggie Langston. And that is your next match on Raw. And you have to say, Matt, this man here, Biggie Langston, could be a major threat for uh, Big Boss Man's title tonight. Yeah, the power that Biggie Langston brings to the table is definitely going to be a problem for Big Boss Man. I don't think he's fought anyone quite as skilled of a wrestler with the power that Biggie Langston has. Indeed. Just a quick note. The, the app actually went for a trade to win the last match. Obviously not successful. We will have another poll later on. Stay with us in the app for the, the next poll. It'll be along in part two. And Matt, talking about this man, Big Boss Man, very impressive since he's come to Raw. We were talking a little about it last night on Sunday Night Heat. You have to say that he indeed is on a complete roll here. Yeah, most definitely. After winning the title, or actually winning the NXT title that I now own, he got off the show and got onto Raw and got his chance at the Hardcore Championship and has held on to that ever since. Indeed, the boss man. Big, big uh, opportunity for Biggie Langston here, the, who is indeed a former US title holder in his own right. But I say this match should be an absolute classic. Remember, extreme rules here, guys. So this can go anywhere in the building. They can use any sort of weapons. And remember last night, Matt, B uh, Boss Man put Sheamus away with a s Boss Man slam to the guitar onto the guitar. Yeah, that was very impressive to know where the guitar was and get that placement just right. Indeed, and the pin on the outside. I mean, look at the power of Biggie Langston. You've got to see, Matt. If Boss Man's got power, this Biggie Langston, wow, he is... You wouldn't think for his size, he has an awful lot of power. Yeah, that's what I was saying. With the power of Big Biggie Langston and his technical wrestling ability, to, it could be a good match against uh, the power and brawling skills of the big boss man here. Indeed, as... Look at this. Another belly, belly overhead throw. As Lang, uh, Langston continues on. Boss man, as you say... Likes to sort of use the weapons later on in the match, Matt. We've seen this quite the last two times. Obviously, he won the title last week on Raw, but last night we were seeing it took a while for the, the weapons to come out. Yeah, it looks like Bossman likes to wear down his opponents before he starts bringing out the weapons and really taking it to him. Indeed, and Bossman now coming back with power strikes of his own. Remember, so much coming up. Honestly, my, uh, coming off last night, this Raw is absolutely stacked tonight. The number one contendership match later on should be an absolute classic. Most definitely. I can't wait to see what, what takes place in that one. Indeed, so much more coming up. And uh, for this hardcore title, Boss Man, you have to say, didn't sort of back down from the challenge of Biggie Langston. He sort of said, right, let's step up. Let's see what he's got. And indeed, taking it to Biggie Langston in this match. Most definitely. Like I said, he's an all-out brawler, and it's going to be a good match for us to sit back and enjoy. Well, as Biggie Langston now trying to get the advantage over the boss man, 
as I see Bossman, NXT, former NXT champion, now did so well in the Rumble, now a hardcore champion on Raw, they made, made sure the, the title stayed on Raw last night after defeating Sheamus at, on Sunday night, he just before the Elimination Chamber. And you have to say, it won't be long, I think, before Bossman, if, if he keeps up this form, goes for higher titles. Yeah, I could see him going for that too, but just remember, I'm the only two-time NXT champion, and I'll soon be either on Raw or SmackDown. That is true, Matt. Raw continues. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Conclusion of this hardcore match. Remember to join us for non-stop wrestling NXT on Saturday night. It's 11 o'clock in the UK, 6 in these 3 in the West. It'll be the Mundo and Jess who take you through the action from NXT. And see the face of NXT, the groovy one, Matt. <laughs> Indeed, oh, here we go, Matt. Here comes the guitar. Biggie Langston manages to block it, though. Big clothesline during the break. Uh, it look, Langston was put through the barriers. Um, again, the handyman seems to be having to do his uh, work after the match again. Yeah, we keep them busy here. But yeah, this match is really starting to pick up. They started using weapons, and I can't wait to see how this one turns out. Indeed, and as I say, this is the, the, the point of the match where Bossman likes to get them weapons involved, especially that guitar, sort of a personal favourite of the Bossman, uh, as, we, as we've seen last night. We will just have to see how it continues on. Remember, pinfall submissions can count outside the ring as well in hardcore matches, as Langston taken into the ring post. Bossman, I don't know what he's thinking about here. Looking, I think, for another weapon, and I think he's going for that sledgehammer. And indeed he has it. If he connects here, oh, there he does, right to the gut of Biggie Langston. And now just hitting the back of him. That is going to really take a lot out of Biggie Langston, Matt. Yeah, that'll definitely knock the wind out of you. And that's definitely going to leave some bruises to your back. Getting hit with a sledgehammer like that. And you've got to see, Matt, it doesn't matter how much power you have. You get hit with one of them sledgehammers. And it takes, as you say, it takes the wind out of you. Also, it could be the end of the match very quickly. And there yeah, it is. but they're back in the ring now. There's the Bossman slam, Matt. Yeah. And Bossman, you look at that. Feet on the ropes. Referee doesn't see. And it's a three. Bossman is c c continues to be the hardcore title holder, but you have to say, man, he did that sne very sneakily. Well, it was no DQ. Anything goes. It's a hardcore title match. You got to be prepared for anything. Surely, though, the referee should stop and put his feet on the rope. Surely, he couldn't. Have, that shouldn't be allowed. Well, it's the hardcore title. It, no, it's pretty much anything. Anything goes. No rules. I think the referee did the right decision. Well, surely there should be a ruling on that. Surely you shouldn't be allowed to use the Even hardcore matches, you shouldn't be allowed to use the ropes for advantage. You don't see them using the steel steps, for goodness sake. That, surely that has got to be looked at. Well, backstage, and Tim Jones is now with Bray Wyatt, and as we were talking a little bit before, he's saying that tonight it could be Screwface and Fallen's last night on Raw if Christian wins. And he's saying that, well... Christian, he's going to get beat down tonight, and next week he's going to become the hard, the US champion. Sorry, and Matt Rhodes, what is Bray Wyatt thinking of agreeing to this match? I think he's just anger. I think he wants any any way he can get his hands on Christian. He's just trying to find a way to get a hold of Christian and, and just get his revenge. Well, indeed, that is later on. Can Christian get rid of the Wyatt family if he do, wins tonight? He will do that, but why? Surely, well. He must have a trick up his sleeve, that's all I can say. Big, big match coming up. That is the end of Non-Stop Wrestling Raw, episode 19, part 1. Myself, Dave Easton, Matt Rhodes, signing out for part 1. We'll be right back with part 2 if you're on our Twitch channel. If you're on our YouTube channel, please like, subscribe, and please try and join us the next time we are live. Matt, say goodbye for part 1. See you.